Hi there, this is Jason McConnell, and in this video I'm going to cover the new Illustrator brush feature where you can add images to your brushes, which is a great new feature for especially things like embellishments. And we're going to start out by making a simple pearl brush. Um, to do that, I'm going to start out in Photoshop, and I'll remove the pearl and put it on a, on a transparent background, and then we'll place it into Illustrator and make the brush. So there's lots of ways to get this pearl off the background, and isolated by itself. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And you take the marquee tool, the elliptical marquee. Make sure you have anti-aliasing on so we have a little bit smoother edges, but no feathering. And what I'm going to do is, from the center, hold the Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows, and Shift, so you have a nice circle and you can make the selection outward. And you'll see that I wasn't exactly in the middle. So just like Illustrator, I can hold the space bar and it'll temporarily let me move my selection around. And you let go of the space bar and you can start to increase or decrease that circle. All right, so that's about right. And I'll do a copy, Command-C, and let's make a new file, Command-N. I'll give it a name. And you see this uh, portion on the bottom, Background Contents? Let's set that to Transparent. So we paste it into a transparent background file, and I'll hit OK. Paste it, and then I'll go ahead and save it. I'll save it to my desktop. You can save it as a Photoshop or a TIFF. Even a GIF or a PNG would work because it'll have a transparent ground, and I'll hit save. Okay, now into Illustrator. I'll just do a File Place. Pick my pearl. And you'll notice at the bottom there's this uh, link checkbox. Make sure that's unchecked, and that will automatically embed this pearl into the file instead of linking it. So I'll hit Place now. Okay, so now it's time to make the brush. And uh, a lot of people use pattern brushes. But in this case, this isn't a really good uh, brush to use because um, I'll just show you. Um, Hard-edged embellishments like this, they'll get distorted. So if I drag this into my brushes, choose Pattern Brush, and I'll call it Pearl Pattern Brush. And then if I apply it to a line that's a little wavy, you're going to see that it gets a little distorted, or a lot distorted. So, especially when it's a little bit bigger size, you're going to see a lot of distortion. And it doesn't matter uh, what fit you choose. You can choose Add Space, Approximate. Um, it's always going to distort a little bit. So, uh, it's usually a good idea instead to make embellishments like this a scatter brush. So instead, I'll take this pearl, I'll click on New Brush, and this time make it a Scatter Brush. We'll hit OK. We're not that interested in any of these settings just yet. First we'll apply it to a line, and then we'll come back in here. So I'll hit OK, and I'll select this set of pearls that we made down here, and I'll this time choose Pearl Scatter Brush. And you'll see right away that it's not distorting the brush at all. The original round shape is still there. All right, so now I can go back into the brush by double clicking it. So if I wanted a larger or smaller size, I can go to size and adjust that. If I wanted more or less spacing, I could increase or decrease that. Uh, we won't be changing scatter for this or rotation, but if you did want to just scatter these across the page, you would choose this and put on random and then you have how much it would scatter on both sides of the line. So you would go from this way on one side and this way on another. Um, scatter is really good for things like, like beads or gems or things like that that you want to scatter across the page. And it'll randomize every time you click on the brush in the brushes panel. But I'll change that back. Uh, up next is rotation. Uh, I'm going to actually rotate relative to the path. So you'll see as it goes around the line, it's 
rotated relative to the path, and I'll hit OK. Now a couple other random things that are really neat that might be useful um, is that when you make your, your scatter brushes, you can set the size to pressure. So if you have a tablet, you can set the size, and I'll set the minimum size on the left side, and the maximum size on the right side. And watch out, it can get really extreme. And I'll make a new line. And I have my tablet, so I'll go from thin to thick, to thinner, to thick. You see it goes from thin to thick. So you can get a nice variation in size just by using pressure. And one more thing I'm going to show is, and let me get rid of this is sometimes you want to adjust the color slightly of your images and you can go back into Photoshop and do that that's perfectly fine and maybe even better sometimes but in this case I'm just going to select my image and go to edit edit colors and adjust color balance and I'll do a convert click on preview and I'll go a little bit more extreme so you can see. I'll make it more blue. And this is good for a quick color change that you might want to do to um, images in Illustrator. And I'll hit OK. And then I can make the same brush. Make it a scatter brush. I forget what the sizing was. And by the way, uh, image colorization does not work uh, with images. It'll only work on vector artwork. So I'll hit OK. And I'll apply it to this line. And there you go, you have blue pearls. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.